Hi there, I'm Ramona, LLM Realtor. I'm a software engineer passionate about AI and how it can really benefit the real estate industry. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stage a home virtually using AI powered by Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly is a free generative AI image tool. All that means is that you can generate visual content by just providing a text prompt. And using AI, a large language model will try and draw what you're asking for based off of the millions of similar examples it has seen in the past. So in this video, we're gonna show an example of how you can stage an empty living room by using Adobe Firefly. Here's the before and after of what our room will look like. I'll walk you through the home staging process I used. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have the Adobe Firefly homepage at firefly.adobe.com. We're gonna do what is called a generative fill. That lets you add objects on top of an existing image. Let's upload an image. We'll use an image of an empty room for this example. The first thing that we're going to do is add a simple house plant. We'll fill in the area where we want the plant to go, and the prompt we'll enter into the input field is a house plant in a simple rounded orange clay pot. As you can see by the results, Firefly is smart enough to even generate shadows of the plant in our room. It gives me different variations of house plants all in clay pots. If I wanted to be more specific and only return a snake plant, for example, I could modify my query to a snake plant in a simple rounded orange clay pot. We should also note that in the settings, there are a few things that we can change. The match shape is simply used to let the AI know if we want to exactly match the shape of the area we outline with a brush or if the object should live in the box of the drawing. For our use case, we want the latter, so we'll leave it as free form. Preserve content is just a setting for how much of the base image we want to blend in with what's generated for our prompt. For our use case, since we are adding new content or splending things in, we will want the toggle set more towards new. And finally, Guidance strength determines how closely the generated content keeps to the prompt versus the original image. As we are filling in a room, initially, we will want the valley to be more to the right, allowing the LLM to be more creative. As we develop the room a bit more with a specific home decor style, we can pair back the dial on the left towards the original image. I encourage you to play around with these settings and see how it changes the results. Okay, so after a plant, I'll add a wall painting by filling in a rectangle and entering in the prompt a wall painting for a home of ocean waves crashing. If I don't like the original set of examples, I can scroll for more or modify my prompt to be more specific. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Let's move on. Next, I'll generate a bookshelf to the right of the painting with a prompt, a modern wood shelf with books on it that you would find in a home. As a note, the more specific you can get with your prompt, the better your results will be. For example, you're more likely to get what you're looking for if you ask it to generate a modern dark mahogany wood shelf with three shelves and the green encyclopedia of books, we're just asking it for a simple shelf. Okay, so next we'll try and add the centerpiece of the room, a couch. I like green velvet couches, so we'll try and use a prompt that encompasses that. A forest green velvet couch with modern gold legs. As you can see in the example I like best, it actually adds gold pillows and something to the side of us. Overall, it looks good, but if you really stop and stare, you'll notice some random oddities and extras, like the gold legs aren't quite right, and there is an added random gold thing to the right of the couch. Okay, next we'll add two side tables. We'll draw rectangles for the side tables on either side of the couch and see if Firefly can recognize what we actually wanted to do, which is generate two side tables, not just one. So amazingly, it was able to generate two separate side tables just with a single prompt of modern wood side tables with metal legs. This feature can be especially helpful for matching the same style multiple times. For example, if you needed to generate multiple dining chairs that are the same style, you could use that. We'll notice that Adobe Firefly is actually really good at removing objects as well. And finally, we can let the creativity run wild here and have the AI generate a piece of art for us. I like the random gold statue it generates for us, so we'll keep that. Once done, we can export our artwork via the download button at the top right corner of the page. As you can see, Adobe adds a watermark at the bottom left corner of generated images. Firefly is currently in beta, and at this time not supposed to be used for commercial purposes. For those who intend to use AI-generated content right away for their business, it is currently embedded into Photoshop and Adobe Express, and those versions won't contain a watermark. I know that virtual staging isn't a brand new concept. Virtual staging has been around for a long time, but with generative AI, it's really, really interesting what we can accomplish. Before, there was small catalogs of furniture that you could use to generate staging for a room. But with AI-powered models like Adobe Firefly, really anything you can come up with, your imagination, you can build, which is really cool. And I think opens up a lot of new possibilities. There are many AI image generating tools out there like Adobe Firefly. Most of them are actually free as well. 
I'll link to them here, and if you check them out, let me know what you think in the comments. So for home staging, there's actually quite a few startups that are trying to tackle this space and are using really cool innovative techniques using AI. I'll link to a few of them that I found here. Let me know what you think if you play around with them or if you've used them in the past. Are they useful? How do they compare to other forms of staging that you've used in the past? Are they any different? Or are they just the same? I'd love to know. Also as a final caveat, I wanted to throw it out there. AI staging is not perfect by any means. I don't think that professional stagers are going away anytime soon. I think if you can afford it and pay for it, you should definitely get a professional stager. Yet, given the low cost of doing AI powered virtual staging and the really, really infinite possibilities, I think that it's something really good for real estate professionals to look out for and keep in mind in the future. This technology is only gonna get better. And I think a few years from now, really, there's gonna be some software products that really blow our mind. Again, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what other types of videos you'd like me to make in the future. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day. Bye.